right vehicle mm. for most of what we want to do anyway. Mm. To film in steps the whole process of painting, a, let's say that thing. <coughs> I think it's very important that you do that. And even if you... Yeah. So if you do a podcast and a hangout each week, one with music and one with painting, then in the hangout, the Google Hangout, you use the Google Hangout out of the same week, you put that thing there, and you go to the class, and that's the class is live. And, and if people want to ask questions, they can ask questions or whatever like that. You're like, look, every hour I'm going to take three questions and explain a little bit about what I'm doing. And then and they'll come up, it'll come up in the in the chat or whatever, you know. And then the rest of the time, it's a live course. I'm not to do that. But what happens is that you put it on long haul. Wow, nice. And then in the middle, you're like, okay, we've got about 35 more minutes. And I'll let you guys know, we're going to auction off these three paintings in the corner. So the auction will begin in about 15 minutes. You guys get yourselves ready to paint. So, which, and you can auction paintings in the middle of your hangout. <laughs> No, no middle. I think I have to get used to that where he says just a little little clip where he's saying, we make no mistake, we make exciting discoveries. <laughs> exactly. Like you make and he made it seem so simple. You're like, he painted that whole thing in like 30 minutes, you know? And but is this whole thing where in the modern day you don't have to be because you never knew where Bob Ross really lived. Here we can go into other things and you know you, we can talk about things and then you can go and teach them. It doesn't have to be very simple. Talk about it. It's, it's content. content. That's it's, what it's I'm saying. It's, it's, it's not bullshit. That light is a local light source on the black ground to our eyes. Our eyes perceive it that way. Mm -hmm. Within our visibility range, sunlight is from a local source nearby to our planet and all the backdrop is black. out of our visibility range. It appears black. It appears as there, if there would be nothing happening. But it's probably not so. Only physicians, phys physicists cannot really explain it so far. We, you know, there, there's no real singular valid explanation for that. Nobody knows what is in the back in the, at the edge of the universe, right? What it all consists of, but we know that there is a lot of power happening, you know, there's a lot of gamma rays and things where our extended antennas can actually detect. And uh, probably ranges of things happening where we have no antennas whatsoever, which we don't know, but there's definitely a lot happening, strong things happening. So, when I want to, to prepare myself like this background to put the local sunlight on when I start to paint, I need to, I would want to know what is that black, right? Because it is something, it is real, I'm painting reality. It's not something, you know, abstract. It is real black when I see, what is it? So, I don't know, physics don't know, science don't know, so I have to use my intuition and I usually let it go. I do free, free movement, gest gesture painting, thinking of what could be out there, what kind of energies and vibrations until the canvas is all filled up black. And I follow universal rules, which I have learned in school. It means I take care of the composition, which I try to be aware of. I'm aware of how I feel, the touch of, of the brush and so on. I'm aware of what's happening in my mind, that I don't, don't clog myself with um, analytical ideas about what I'm doing, because I don't know anyway. And I just take care that I'm that that I stay on it, that I don't lose it, right? That I have the will until everything is all black, and then I can start to add sunlight on it. And that's how I do it there, right? I start with the sky, like in early morning, and then I add more and more light, as if the sun would be coming, coming up. Coming up, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, it's in the beginning it's grey because I'm, I'm using transparent paint. It is much nicer to work transparent. It gives much more depth. Right, so using a transparent white. I'm using transparent whites and I'm using transparent toners and colors. Mm. And so it's the color but the, everything is shining through. Everything shining through. You see actually through to the bottom. And that's why these paintings always have this amazing depth. Like you get, you start to look at the water, and you're like, yeah, but I can see, like in the water, like when I'm in the beach, and you look through and you see like the stones that are down below. And it's like, how can you put that in the painting? How do you? And, and always just make you think, he must 
day 13 years to day one of these things. <laughs> so it's like, it's all, I, it's all I used to think of, like, how does he have so much detail? It's like, I can see so many layers deep into this thing. It must have taken him his whole lifetime to make one. And when people ask, you know, how long do you take, long do you take to make one of these? And I say, 55 years. <laughs> I know, 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 I it's true. It's all added. Yeah. It's a couple, it's, it's compounded knowledge. It's like it didn't happen in one day. Yeah, no. No, no, no. And, and I think it's at about 50% now mm. of what could be done that way. And that's my feeling that, that I'm like made like, like, you know, another half can be done added to it. Right. More, more. I would like to just throw them on, you know. Yeah, this is what comes next. Treat yeah. them like abstract, like yeah. free, gestic, abstract painting. Just throw the paint on and it should be yeah. right there. And it's like seascape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. P the C. Yeah, it's like, it's my Pollock style. I don't know why it really works for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got a rock and roll now, right? So that's, I appreciate white. And then we go ahead with the yes, uh, where we begin chasing the, chasing the, the background yeah, of the universe. Universe. because the abstract that you get from this after it's white, I'm gonna love because I love that big abstract that came before. before yeah, yeah. So we, this would be a very good place. Yeah, okay. All right, let's rock and roll. It's the end of our first session. Keep around. Come to you live. Another cue. Trivia for stories with our guest Robert Marato in the famous studio that used to be in which and which is now so much more. We'll be back to you in a minute. Let's wow by me. Yeah.